friends there are for years. I know one of them has to go. But which one? Is it you or is it me? Lately I've been lost in sins. I think the change is what I need. If I'm looking for a chance, I would dream. Yesterday's and another place gets living for the times we have seen When the writing on the wall says I'll be shining at the street If you want to find a way of searching for another world It's hard to see headlines follow in five minutes time but first on Yorkshire a short extra program gardening time hello again you know that's a beautiful flower the gardenia isn't it this one that infuriates me I managed to get it open for my wedding day a few years ago but it won't come open for us today it's perhaps one of the more difficult plants and it's one that a lot of people try from time to time there are a few little secrets and hints and tips we can give you some of it is just good measure the gardenia is a plant really from Japan and China. In fact, it came across over 200 years ago from Japan. I think we've still been struggling 200 years later on. But basically, it's a plant that loves lime-free conditions. So when you repot it or anything like that, then always make sure that you use things like this, an ericaceous compost, and make sure then that you give it lime-free water. So if your kettle furs up, that white deposit in your kettle, then don't use your tap water, use rainwater. Or there are now on the market things that you can actually filter your water with. Don't use a water softener, though, because that doesn't remove the lime. It softens the water, doesn't remove it. If the leaves go yellow on the plant, it's almost certainly what we gardeners would call chlorosis. If that occurs, then you can use a thing called sequestrine, sequestrine iron tonic. That will help. It's not a miracle cure, but it will help. So lime-free water, it likes a fairly light position, that's out of bright sunlight during the summer months. It will take bright summer in the sun in the winter months, but it likes a temperature of 60 minimum. If it gets much colder, it runs into problems. And it likes misting daily. And you know, I'm so keen with these little misters, but here's where you've got to be very careful. Because if you mark the flowers there, then the flowers go brown and rot off almost overnight. And that rot seems to set in on the plant. So it may pay you to actually put your hand over the plant like that a mist around your hands. doesn't matter if the young buds get the mist, but certainly not on the open blooms. And that can be done daily while the plant's in flower, weekly when it's not in flower, or daily during the summer months. Now, it's a plant that loves this humidity. So again, I always stand on things like this, the damp pebbles, to give it that damp atmosphere. And I've got one that actually I had a mistake with. I left it out and it got in a dry atmosphere. And this is what can actually happen Almost overnight, the plant will dry up. And unfortunately, there's nothing you can do with a plant at this stage. But it does show very craftily what the nurserymen do. You can see there are actually four cuttings in there, which gives you a clue. If you want to try taking cuttings, you can do, but they are very difficult to root. So really, it's one to buy. Unless you've got a propagator that can maintain a temperature of at least 75, then you won't do it. But it does show how the nurserymen has a little tiny branch framework which flowers early. One of the problems when you come back to a mature plant like this is that after flowering, it gets a little bit taller and it will not seem to flower on older wood. So it's one where perhaps you'll keep for three years, maybe four, after that it goes off. Other pest diseases and problems? Well, occasionally I've seen green fly on it around the young buds. A systemic spray, or if you like, you can use one of these soaps, a natural soap, so you're not using an insecticide. They work quite well. Red spider mite, this rustiness on the underside of the leaves can be a problem. If the leaves all fall, it's almost certainly dry air. If the leaves are yellow, it's chlorosis as we've mentioned. But really, it's a plant to have a go at, the gardenia. <laughs> <laughs> Fun at the Fate in Heartbeat, Thursday at 8.30 on Yorkshire. 
On Thursdays this morning, the summer's hottest star, Richard D. Grant, talks to Richard and Judy about his latest role as a doting dad in Jack and Sarah. Chris Steele reveals the latest breakthrough in contraception with fashion for size 16s. And top bet John Baxter takes your calls in our phone-in on Paulie Pets this morning, 10.30. Alphabet Castle, Sooty & Co and How To are all in children's ITV in 10 minutes after the news headlines from ITN and Calendar. Good afternoon. The Foreign Secretary Douglas Hurd gave a blunt warning to the Bosnian Serbs this afternoon, release the rest of the hostages or face the consequences. He said Britain was using every means at its disposal to set the men free. 108 UN peacekeepers, among them 17 Royal Welsh Fusiliers, were released last night. Nearly 150, six of them British, are still being held. Dazed, jaded, traumatised, but out of the war zone, no longer hostages, free men. 108 UN peacekeepers were released by the Bosnian Serbs after 11 days as hostages. On board the two coaches were twice as many hostages than expected. Amongst them, 58 Ukrainians, 32 French, a Spaniard, and 17 Welsh Fusiliers, all of them strictly briefed not to answer questions. No comment. No comment. No comment. This second release leaves 148 hostages, six of them British, still held by the Bosnian Serbs. There were more upbeat reports today that further releases are imminent, but a haze of uncertainty still remains over whether all of the hostages will be released. Andrew Simmons, ITN, Novi Sad in Serbia. An explosion and fire have badly damaged the world's longest pier. More than 100 firefighters have been battling to save South End Pier in Essex, which had to be rebuilt following another blaze almost 20 years ago. In less than 30 minutes, the landmark pier was engulfed in flames. It's believed the fire began in the roof of the bowling alley, spreading quickly. Went through in approximately half an hour and covered the whole extent of the pier. More than 130 firefighters brought the fire under control. The bowling alley is now smouldering scrap metal, but the structure of the pier is largely undamaged. The actual bowling alley itself and all the offices have gone, um, but the actual structure of the pier, subject to confirmation by the South and Borough Council engineers, seems to be intact. The pier will be restored, but the timing of this fire at the start of the summer season could hardly be worse. Howell Jones, ITN, South End. Gay rights groups say they'll fight a High Court ruling which today upheld a ban on homosexuals in the armed forces. Three servicemen and a former RAF nurse had appealed against the policy after they were sacked from their jobs for being gay. They left the court disappointed but determined to fight on after the judge ruled that while he thought the MOD should re-examine their policies, there was no legal basis for overruling the ministry. This particular battleship of bigotry is holed below the waterline and is sinking. And it's just a question of how long the government and the Ministry of Defence are going to take to abandon this particular prejudice. Reading what the judge has actually said uh, is very sympathetic to us. And this is just the start of the fight and we will carry on fighting to the very end. The MOD said they were pleased with the ruling. Robin White, ITN, the High Court. Football Les Ferdinand has become Britain's second most expensive footballer. He signed for Newcastle for £6 million. The club has spent £10 million in the last three days. Manager Kevin Keegan has been looking for a big-name striker since he sold Andy Cole to Manchester United in January. Finally, Australia's Prime Minister has outlined plans to get rid of the Queen as head of state, replace her with a president and create a republic. What do ordinary Australians think of the plan? We'll talk to them both here and in Australia. Join me for the early evening news at 5.40. Hello and a very good afternoon from the Calendar East News Desk. A teenager who set fire to his friend has walked free from Hull Youth Court. The 14-year-old was given a six-month supervision order. 13-year-old Shane Nolan from Hull will be permanently scarred by the blaze which burned more than half his body. 
He was attacked in January in a pub car park when a youth set fire to petrol, which had splashed on his body. The youth had previously admitted causing grievous bodily harm. A Sheffield sailor who was sacked because he's gay has lost his fight to be reinstated. John Beckett was among four people who challenged the blanket ban on homosexuals in Britain's armed forces. John Beckett, seen here on the left after this morning's judgment, has a perfect service record. But the High Court told him they couldn't give him his job back. The judges said Parliament must decide if homosexuals can serve in the armed forces. Lord Justice Simon Brown and Mr Justice Curtis said in their landmark ruling that the Ministry of Defence and military establishments were acting within their powers in continuing to enforce a ban on homosexuals. Lawyers for the four had argued the policy was outrageous, irrational and perverse. The four ex-service personnel are now considering an appeal. Government Minister David Curry was in Nottinghamshire today to give his backing to the regeneration of a former Edwardian pumping station. The Minister met representatives from Nottinghamshire County Council and the Seven Trent Water, a Broughton pump pumping station where they plan to reopen the building. He unveiled an interpretation board showing an artist's impression of the restored building. We're trying to put an old building to a new use, but a new use which is very much designed to help the needs of the community, to create employment in the community, training, voluntary activity in the community, and not least to be integrated into these lovely wood surroundings that you see here. And we put a lot of work into it, obviously, over the three years. It was successful in the Rural Challenge uh, bid. We, 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 win, we achieved a million pound there, which released another million and a half, enabling us not only to, to save the building, uh, but also to create value, valuable jobs in the area. Householders will get a £10 rebate from Yorkshire Water this year after the company made massive profits. Yorkshire Water, which supplies homes across Humberside, has announced a £140 million annual profit. The figure includes £20 million rebate and cash allocated for improvements to the service. A £1 million timber processing plant has opened in Lincolnshire. Timber Hunter's new factory has created 20 jobs in Boston. It's one of the most advanced in Europe and the firm expects to almost double its production. Building the plant has meant lucrative spin-offs for other local firms who've been awarded contracts worth £200,000. That's the latest from Calendar East. Tonight we meet Dora from the original Follyfoot. Hopefully you'll join us for Calendar at 5 to 6. Bye-bye. In a bid to look younger, this woman's going to the man who's taken years off some of the world's most famous faces. You'll get this immediate result, in other words. You'll get whatever you're going to get, 10 years, 15 years, mm -hmm. wiped off. Edit 5 on the Quest for You, Thursday at 10.40. This summer, enjoy the trip of a lifetime in one of the four cars in the Peugeot 306 Select range. Soak up lots of sun, thanks to the electric sunroof. Enjoy doing nothing. There's remote control central locking and alarm system. Sit back and relax. With side impact beams, a driver's airbag, even power steering. You'll find the locals very friendly. Saloon or hatchback, petrol or diesel, cost just £11,995. So don't you wish you were here? Check out the Peugeot 306 Select range. Visit Peugeot this summer. Which of these men do you think has excess cholesterol in his blood? It could be either. You can't tell just by looking. New Ribena juice and fibre can help reduce cholesterol as part of a low-fat diet. And with two delicious varieties, you'll enjoy drinking to your heart's content. Swing into action on CITV. Learning and playing together with always more fun to come. Remember, half past three means CITV. See CITV and see. CITV. Well, hello there. First today, let's join the queue for Alphabet Castle.
Is it a castle in the air? No, it's a castle here and there. Flags are flying, plain to see. Castle is castle A, B, C. With old King Alfred and young Queen Bess. And flags are flying, the alphabet. Alphabet Castle, Alphabet Castle, Alphabet Castle, A, B, C. And today's letter is Q, which sounds like qu. Qu begins quick. Shh. I'm a quiet queen, but I can also be a quick queen. A quick, quiet queen. Look. My finger's moving so quickly, you can't see it. You can't see my finger either. It's just a flash of silver. A quick flash of silver. Quick, quick as quicksilver. That's me. Yes, quick is my name. Quicker than the eye. That is how I came with a dash, flash, fly. I see quick as a flash. My quick fingers dash. Quick as a bird's wings were. My quick fingers fly. Yes, quick is my name. Quicker than the eye. That is how I came as I dash, flash, fly. Welcome to Alphabet Castle. I'm Queen Bet. Oh, and I'm quick. Quick as Quicksilver. Oh, I know. Their names were quick too. That was King Quite Quick and Queen Quicker. Both King and Queen of the castle in the quick time. Quick time. That's me. Close your eyes. Now. Open them. Oh, it's a blur of colours. It's a shape, a colourful shape. No, I can see legs, crowns, four dancing queens. Now I've got one for you. Have a look at this. Well, that's too slow. Okay, I'll try it quicker. Foo tast, foo tast. Oh, that's gobbledygook, the talking turkey. He meant to say it's too fast. Oh, he always gets his letters and his words muddled up. Now the off should be there, the ba there, that's better, and that spells gobbledygook. <laughs> Gobbledygook, gobbledygook, that's the way the turkey talks. Gobbledygook, gobbledygook, that's the way the turkey talks. Hobbledy bobbledy wobbledygook, that's the way the turkey walks. Cut the cackle, go the gavel. Gobbledygook, de goop, 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 de de goop, de de goop, de Oh. Gobbledygook, your song's too slow. What do you mean, Sluto? He means too slow. That's what I said, Sluto. Well, I think it would be much better, quicker, like this. <laughs> Oh no, full tast, full tast. Do slown, do slown. He means too fast, too fast. Slow down, slow down. That's what I said, full tast, do slown. Oh, very well, have it your own way. Slow and steady wins the race. So slow, slow, slow down the pace. That's 
the way the donkey talks to Sluto. Oh, Sluto. Oh, he means too slow. Well, it's either too quick or it's too slow. Oh, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick. <laughs> oh, quick, silver. Woo! I think this is too fast. Woo! Steady. Too fast. <laughs> too fast. Yes, gobbledygook. Too fast. Too fast. That's what he's saying. Well, <gasps> let's try it a little bit slower. Yes, then. please. I was getting giddy. The dance of life is quick and slow. It's not all stop. It's not all go. Dance the dance quick, 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 slow. Slow, slow, quick, slow, quick, slow. Not too slow. Not too quick. But just so. Not too slow, not too quick, but just so. The dance of life needs a quick and a slow. It's not all stop, it's not all go. Dance the dance, quick, 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 slow. Slow, slow, quick, slow, quick, slow. Ah, oh, much better. Not quick and not slow toe. He means much better, not too quick and not too slow. Good guy. Goodbye. Stop. I must go. But stop. Go slow. Right. How's this? Much better. Slowly. <laughs> Dance of life needs a quick and the slow. It's not all stop, it's not all go. Dance the dance, quick, 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 slow. Slow, slow, quick, slow, quick, slow. Not too slow, not too quick, but just so. Not too slow, not too quick, but just so. Is it a castle in the air? No, it's a castle here and there. Flags are flying, plain to see. Alphabet castle A, B, C. Alphabet castle. Alphabet castle, alphabet castle, A, B, C. CITV, it's magic. Watch out, Wizard's Wand is on the blink. Who knows what might happen next? The new Mars ice cream is their best ever. <laughs> oh, yeah. Experts in ice cream agree. Yeah.